if you are in a relationship with someone who uses this dominant codependent strategy, either at work or in your personal life, we have some tips for you to manage their behavior. So the first one, of course, always we start with knowing yourself and your codependent strategies. We have to understand that because for every dominant codependent, there is a submissive counterpart. So if you have a tendency to shift to submission when faced with bullying, devaluing, or overpowering behavior like those that are used by the caretaking or through the caretaking strategy here, you need to make a commitment to yourself to stop enabling them for the sake of the relationship. No, no, no. (laughs) I'm doing it anyway. No. Being submissive and letting someone treat you as though you are incompetent or unable to do things for yourself, it just, it makes you look like you're taking advantage of them, right? And while it may feel good sometimes to have that servant in your life, (laughs) you will and do ultimately pay the price. Okay? So that's number one. Number two, you know, don't take their behavior personally. I think I really struggled with this one, especially as I was, you know, sort of coming into my own independence in my 20s and and really trying to to get a sense of my own competence. I, every time I was encountering someone with this uh, approach of who used the caretaker codependent strategy, it's like that because you, you feel devalued by them, right? And so then you have to question your own competence and your own decision making. And they'll say things like, what, you're wearing that? When you know you've spent a long time, actually, my 20 year old daughter and I just had this conversation the other day about, you know, friends of hers who do this. And, and we were talking about this in, in, in her world too. 